Right, here we are again. So, yesterday rained off, so back here today. Nice, glorious sunshine. So, with three bricks there, I've gone off. I've run a line through, and they've gone off there. Um, I've got my extra large tiles to go on the ends, the tile and halves. So I'll do that after I've got the brick on edging. I think that's my more important thing to get on with. Um, I've got my little little level, my little boat level. So as I lay these on, I can just level them one at a time. So I'm just going to get a few edges stacked up on here. Um, and just work my way along. I'll keep this stuff in a barrow again. And uh, yeah, I'll set you up on the camera. Ah, so I just wanted to set my camera up to record and I realised I hadn't had it plugged in. So, track me to the rescue again. I tell you, this has done some work for me. But anyway, yeah, let's crack on. Get the perk level, and then we'll do is push it down at this end, and we'll just put our boat level on. And tap it level. Make sure that pet's tight up. up. I mean you shouldn't really have to boat level every one of them. You should be able to just look at the one you've just put down. And maybe every third one give it a check. And if not what you can do you could just run your big level over it after so many. Just tap that back from the line a bit. There we go. So with the mods being a little bit dry we're not get the gonna get the brick saturated in water. Right, obviously not jointed it yet because it's sopping, but I can wear along. So what we want to be looking for is that this is in line with this pair up here. Okay, we're not far off. I know I've got to tighten up a little bit, but that's brilliant because it's going to work three per brick now. So I won't have any problems. If we look on the other side, 
So I've left all the all the rags on and everything. Uh, that'll start to dry out, then I can use that to join up with. Uh, all these engineering bricks are all different sizes as well. So when you're doing anything out of one brick, you can only ever straighten or plumb one side. Because by definition, if you knock the brick one way, I say if I knock that brick that way, it's going to come out of alignment with the other side. So this is the decorative side. This is the decorative side. Yeah. So we've got Class B engineering on the top. We've got basically a rosemary tile. That acts as a DPC. Water runs off. Yeah. Right, I'm going to crack on. Not much more to go. I need to get a bit more mix anyway. Alright. Managed to get the tile in. And uh, we're quite done. So it's all joined it up. Essentially, I've just literally got packed up. It looks like it's. Down a bit, I can see it is starting to rain now, but I've got it protected. So, yeah, uh, that pillar wants moving. So, I've just, I've just brought the concrete out, I'll dig the rest of that out tomorrow. Throw right on, so we're going to start this pillar today. So, it's been decided now. So, instead of the pillar being a brick and a half, so that's why I was taking breaking that off there, and I was going to run it there. Now wants, he wants it two picks, so I'm just going to change things a little. I'm going to break the entire thing out and start again. Just sit nicely in there. That's set in there. So I don't have to level that. What I can do is just tap it until the bit goes down to that level. at the highest point, levelled across, levelled across. Then you saw me lay that one, make sure we've got the same depth so we know we've got the same size pair, even though these bricks are all different sizes, but we've got it out there and then you saw me to the two diagonals, then level the middle one in, which is dead easy isn't it? So that's that. And what I'm gonna do is because I'm not bonding this through this will be a dirty brick and lay that in the middle Do is 
as I um, build up, all I'm going to do is just put a couple of braces to it. I just think it just helps bond it together. That's me. I'm not saying it's right, I'm not saying it's wrong. That's just me. It's in there, it's doing no harm. Why not? That's my motto anyway. Right! should be able to use your eye and just look down the pep. So this was a little tap. Literally the minutest of taps. There we go. Noticed I'm not plumbing yet. I have to be extra, extra careful at this point. Right. The third one is where I usually get my plumb. You shouldn't have to measure gauge either if you're a decent bricky. Because if you're building a wall, not building a wall, if you're building a house, yeah, but anything like this, no great urgency, is there? You've got the other one to go to. In, no doubt, yeah. That's plump. Set it up there. And let's get that on there. There you go, it's always easier with three bricks. And we can line that through. We're not going to get a plumb that, but we can plumb that there. And that just wants to come out a tad. There we go. So that's me set out. Easy in it. Right, crack on. Right, there we go. So I've got it started. Yeah, and around here. So what I'm gonna do, like I said, I might just lay the tap.
tie there and a tie there and it's just going to help me out of it well not help me out, it's not helping me out I just, it, it's just bonding it just helps it but that's not going to move anyway, it's a big strong thick pillar right, so the serious way Right, you can see the a couple of green clothes in to bond that middle section in. I know I've used tire wires as well. So that's me. Um, I'm not bothering on the reverse side because you only see one brick out so it'll just look stupid. So I'm just going to do this like this. Alright. Yeah, not too bad. We'll get that up. With 18 cars to go. That's the pillar up then. And I'll just um, get the tiles on it, do a brick on edge, finish that brick on edge off there, and then jobs are good. See you on the other side. Hold on, brick on edge finished. Oh, it's in there. Nicely join it up. Give it a bit of a brush down. Yeah, I do. It's a couple of rag ends. It's a little bit soft, that. But yeah, it's not bad. Pleased.